shenanigans. Can you not put put none of this up, man? We just having a conversation. Nigga, this you is don't person. control my media team. <laughs> Talk to me, nigga. What you talking about, nigga? Clubhouse shenanigans on deck, nigga. You crazy? Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. Man. So, so Wait, what? Ninja. Your mic is on, SKG. You muted up. Nigga, you trying to talk. Hit the microphone in the bottom right corner. Y'all hear me? Yes, ma'am. All right. So go ahead, SKG. They've been listening since last night. So, okay, guys. So me and my family, I want my family, children, we attend an, an award show. This is what we are there for. We are dressed up. It is a black tie affair. We're in evening gowns, things of that nature. So we attend a word show. Everything is beautiful. As we're leaving, the kids want some snacks. So we go up, um, you know, to the snack counter so the kids can get snacks before we go back to our room from the show. So while we're at the counter, he's walking up. Now we've been at the counter for a minute and everybody's back's turned but then i turn around and as i turn around he's walking up towards me um he has on a jogger suit and a hat so as he's walking up he's laughing and he's like you something else you something else first of all nigga i have children with me don't say nothing to me you already violated me you shouldn't be in my space. Why are you walking to where I'm at talking shit to me? So when he lands, he lands at the registration counter right next to me. So we start getting into it. So I'm like, you didn't put your hands on me. <laughs> you didn't violate me. You didn't lock me in a spot. You didn't almost make me lose my baby. You didn't slap me. You didn't give me DP. I don't have scars on my back from that shit. That's permanent. And so he whips out his phone. He's like, I never seen you a day in my life. And yeah, I tried to hit him with it, but I'm in fear for my life. He already violated me. He already went through all this stuff on the internet. So the first time I tried to hit him, he like, can y'all call the police on her? Can I put her in jail? Can y'all call the police on her? I said, call the police. You walked up to where I'm at. You're where me and my kids is. You're talking shit to me. So call the police. So that way I can go ahead and press charges for what you did to me in the past. So he keep asking the people to call the police so he can put me in jail. So he's talking mess. He's laughing. I take another thing and I try to hit him and he runs and ducks. So he's like, I want to put her in jail. Can y'all call the police? Hotel security come. You and like I told them, this man walked over to where I was with my family at a black tie affair minding our business. If you know it's funk and we don't get along, why are you coming to me? That is an aggressive behavior to me. We don't get along. I don't know what you're capable of. I have children. You start putting the camera on my kids, just weird shit. You went out your way. You went out your way. You came all the way from across where you were. You And so I'm like, why are you over here? All his stories didn't add up. First he said, oh, he was attending the event. Guys, we're at a black tie affair. He come and sweats. No, you wasn't. The publicist called me. She said, SKG, he wasn't even on our list. None of us seen him in there. So he wasn't attending the event. Then you said you were checking into the hotel room. One story was you don't even have a room there. So then why are you next to me? So then the police is called. I go to my room. Security comes to my room. And I call whack because I'm like, this nigga is antagonizing me and fucking with me. And I have children with me. Again. So then security come or whatever. And they're like, um, we need to get your side of the story. I said, I don't even want to talk. It's all good. I don't want to make a statement. I don't want to talk. 
I just want to be left alone. They said, well, he called, we called the police because he asked us to, he gave us your, his side of the story. So he tells them that we have history together, but you was just on camera saying you don't know me. So then um, he brings up Wax name to security and he's like, well, he said that you're with Wax 100. Now this is security first, not LAPD. WAC 100 has nothing to do with me being at a black tie affair. Why are you bringing WAC name up? Why are you antagonizing me? And then why are you sitting here dragging it on when you could have just left me the fuck alone? So then security tells me that LAPD is downstairs and he's talking to LAPD. So he's like, he wants to press charges on you. I'm like, for what? This man came to where I was. So then LAPD comes and LAPD is like, he's making a citizen's arrest against me. For what? He came to where I was with my family antagonizing me. He could have left me alone. So they put me in cuffs, they get me in a car. Now, when I get, when I get in a car, LAPD, when they come to the room, they don't mention wax name. When I get in a car, we're rolling in the car, I'm cuffed. All of a sudden, the arresting officer's like, oh, you affiliated with WAC 100? And I'm baffled because I'm like, why are y'all bringing wax? Like, what does wax have to do with this situation? I'm like, why are you bringing wax name up? He was like, oh, well, big, you told us you was affiliated with WAC 100. I said, so then you know who that was? He was like, no, I don't know him. I said, how you know WAC 100, but you don't know Big U? He was like, I don't know him, but I know WAC 100. He was like, everybody know WAC 100. I said, so you want Big U payroll? So then the officer's like, why would you ask me that? I said, are you on his payroll? Because all of this is weird. You arrested me too soon. You didn't even get my side. I didn't get security a statement. You came to my room. You was calling extra units on me. You stayed downstairs with him. You took his side of the story. Did you even do your due diligence to look at the tape and see he came to where I was? Did you you check to see if he really have a room there? Did you check to see if he was at the event? You took this man's side, you get me in this car and you ask me about what? So I'm like, damn, nigga, are you on his payroll? He like, I'm a square. Why would you even use that terminology with me and tell me you're a square? So you're telling me you wait from the streets, but you don't know Big U at all. It don't make sense. Do you get what I'm saying? Like the whole setup was just weird. Everything was just weird. Yo, them people so then, handled you as KG like you attacked one of them. They didn't want to hear nothing you had to say. They didn't hear, was they hear nothing. It, it they, was, it but was, you got to remember as KG, the contracts we got that he has with the police is with 7-7 Street. But Pete did. So then they take me into, into booking. So I'm still in cuffs. I'm like, okay, we're the watch commander because now I already know my rights and cool we're the watch commander he like you want to talk to the watch commander i said yeah so i'm walking in i see all black guys it's, it's, it's not about the racial profile but it is with us because i know how they get down so i'm like what color the watch commander he started laughing he like he black i said yeah he on big u payroll he was like why would you say that the watch commander walked out i said are you on big u payroll he looked at me he said why are you asking i said can you answer the question and he was like, <laughs> no. I said, do you know who Big U is? He hesitated to answer the fucking question. I said, where did you grow up at? He said, South Central. I said, yeah, you're on Big U payroll. Tell me what y'all about to do with me so I can get my attorney on the phone. Because none of this is adding up. None of it. It, don't, it. it doesn't even make sense. So he was like, well, he did a citizen's arrest. He wanted you arrested. I said, so let me ask you this because I need to know. Were you guys going to press charges on me? He said, no. If he didn't want you arrested, we wasn't pressing charges. He asked us to arrest you. I said, but you guys know he came towards me with my children. You guys know I was with my family. He was like, but he asked us to arrest you. I said, okay, so what are we doing? He was like, we're going to book you in. We're going to take your fingerprints. You're getting charged with assault and battery. You got to go to court and we're going to let you go. I'm like, okay, bet. So they booked me in. I got to go to court in May. I got assault and battery charge against him. And I went to jail because this man came messing with me and my family while we're attending a black tie affair. And for them to keep bringing up WAC 100 name, I'm going to tell you guys something. That whole play right there was weird. It, it, it was It was too weird because LAPD couldn't even get their story right and they probably didn't think I was gonna put myself together to start questioning them. You're the arresting officer. 
you go down there and you're talking with him. You get me in the car while we're rolling. The main thing was you're affiliated with WAC 100. Bro, that's not a conversation that we need to have. Why are you asking me about WAC 100? Then you double back and say, you don't know Big U. But the watch commander is from South Central. All you niggas know Big U. I know how the streets go. I know how I know how it go. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm not one of them. <clears throat> Yo, <clears throat> I've been telling motherfuckers, so you want to hear me. That nigga, what the fuck, nigga? I wasn't at the wars. I wasn't at the, what the fuck. You running my name to the police? Now, nah, if you running my name that easy right there, what the fuck you think he didn't did what he down in his little? Yeah, like, what? Well, it, it, and they were so shocked that I kept saying, y'all on his payroll. I'm like, y'all gonna let him come into my room? Y'all gonna let him come into booking? Y'all gonna... And I feel so uneasy. I just kept looking at the camera like, all this shit is weird. And when I asked the watch commander, he a young black guy. That's why I'm like, what area are you from? Where you from? Soon as he said South Central, I said, oh, you know, bitch, you quit playing with me. That was the most weirdest, weirdest shit. It's like, he sat and waited like... Nigga, was you following me? Because why at the end you walked up to me? You could have walked anywhere else. You walked right to where I was and started talking shit. One, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, he got a little carry-on bag. That nigga was sneaking and creeping. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, he God. He wasn't checked you in. They said he wasn't checked in. Oh, God. And you it was a black tie, man. Yeah. This happened at what at eleven o'clock? Damn near twelve o'clock. The event is over. We're leaving. <laughs> yeah. I hate them people over there. I really like. I and I keep telling people this. Them people since I was a little girl. I swear to God, and I keep saying this. It's been nothing but a downfall for me. They so ghetto. They have no communication skills. They don't know how to leave that area. They don't know how to make nothing of themselves. That's why I don't fuck with them people. And whenever I see them, I, I be on, on go because I don't like them. They've always been my downfall since I was a kid over there. I hate that area. Like I'm somewhere totally different with my family. Anytime I see somebody from over here, it's Yeah. Well, you been out the way. You was out there for business and a good cause. You, oh, was God. Like, like, shit. you was out there, Benjamin Crump, that type of shit. So, oh, God. Got, Talking yeah. to Ben Crump about business, doing stuff with his organization, and this community, this disease to the community ass nigga come fucking with me. And I'm like, pull the cameras. You guys can see, I'm minding my business and this man come all the way to where I'm at talking shit. So what did you think I was gonna do? Just stand there? Nigga, you violated me. You think I'm just gonna, you think I'm gonna just stand there? You think I'm gonna run from you? Are you crazy after what you did to me? Yeah, so this is the first time you've seen him since that situation. This is the first time I've seen him since the second situation. What was the second situation? The second situation is when he tried to call niggas on me and fuck my deal over with Live Nation and put everybody from my show and tried to make me look bad in front of Live Nation. And, and I cleared him? on that nigga in one night and sold out. And we made Live Nation like 50,000 and he was mad. This is the first so time you, you're seeing him from that situation where so he threatened, seen, you and threatened to do something to me. And what year was that? This was 2015. No, it's been eight years, nine years. So. Yeah, I haven't seen him at all. So all of a sudden, all and you've been getting sudden, them calls late. You've been getting them calls. Yeah. Yeah, I know, cause you be calling me. I be telling you, don't worry about it, relax. But like I told y'all, I said, yo, bro, I'm already seeing their frustration. These niggas didn't tried everything in their power. They didn't try it from east to west, west to east, everything in between. And, and it ain't nothing they could do with me. I told y'all, I said, these niggas gonna try to fight me a different way. And I know the only way they gonna try to fight me is with them laws. And this is why I didn't change my whole program up. 
where they think I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be. Where I'm at, they don't expect me to be. Straight up, I didn't change the whole everything up. It's easy to be to be to be, to be the romper room nigga like this. That nigga could never ever outthink me. He's a dummy. His homies know he's a dummy. He know he's a dummy. His kids know he's a dummy. His wife know he's a dummy. Nigga used to lean on me, nigga, so you wouldn't look and sound like a dummy. So whatever your dumb ass is thinking, it ain't gonna work. I had a 6 old hit me yesterday and say, why? I'm ashamed to be from my neighborhood. Feds just pulled me in, bro, for questioning 54, 50, 54 or 57 of my homies' names on there telling Big U, Brick Baby, all them niggas' names is at the top, bro. Situations they talking about, I know exactly what's going on. This just yesterday. This is going today. This, this shit is crazy. Like, and, and this is crazy because people don't even know. I'm in school to be an attorney. Like, and, and that is a goal that I'm going to complete. The music is cool. The entertainment is cool. But my long-term goal is to be an attorney. And I will have that goal completed in three and a half years, three and a half, four more years. And stuff like this is like, it's a setback. Because it's like, why are you fucking with me? Now I gotta go to court for assault and battery. Now I got this on my record when it wasn't even assault and battery. I was literally being antagonized and defending myself. When your like, court, when your court date? Setbacks with them. When huh? is your court date? Don't worry about that. I'm going to put the right people on it. We're going to get all the shit. Watch when you see this footage, though. Like, it's like... But then we're going to need you. It's going to take you to um, request the police reports. We're going to get the legal beagles on it, though. Don't worry about the court day. But one thing, Big, you know, he don't want to play like that. Yeah, now I'm all the way involved, boy. I dare you step foot in that motherfucker, boy, on any prelim. All I want you to do is step in there. And you been hanging with Stutterbox. Maybe you don't give a fuck. The coldest part about all this is the nigga committed this act against a black woman during Ramadan. This is why I be telling motherfuckers I don't want to hear nothing. Oh, God. Oh, God. You committed this act against a black woman during Ramadan. But this is my thing, Wax. And, 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 you, and not even to justify it, I can see if... I went up to him trying to attack him or I went up to him disturbing the peace. Nah, or... nah, nah, because <laughs> he know this what's going on. I can me. see him playing the, I talked to the police because she called him and they apprehended me in the lobby. You went to your room and kept it gangster. Nigga, it is what it is. Nigga, I seen you, nigga. You seen me, you, you approached me. You, I did what I did, nigga. Went off, threw some shit at your bitch ass. Called you out your name, nigga. Went up to my room. You gonna have a bitch waiting for me in the lobby or the parking lot tonight in the morning. So be it. I'm with you. Now, that's one thing. You called the police and they got him down there questioning him or whatever, whatever, whatever. That nigga took it upon himself. Call the police. Police get there. Tell the people. Let them see the footage. See what she did to me. Filed it. Told me want to have you arrested and had you arrested. It ain't no coming out of that. No, and, and this is the thing. And this man has locked me in a spot. Nigga, that's still kidnapping charges. What is the statute of limitation of everything you've done to me? Everything you've done to me. And I ain't put you in jail. I told my story. I healed. You feel me? Like, you're still fucking with me, bro. Like, like there's such bullies over there. You're still fucking with me. You're still fucking with me. And then you put me in jail in front of my babies and we're and we're coming from a black tie affair. We had the most beautiful day, going into the most beautiful evening. Nothing but positive vibes because that's what's in your mind. That's the type of person you are. You built off confusion. You built off chaos. You built off misery. 
Like that, that some people, bruh. And I see bitches popping it in your comment section. Let me just say this. Any bitch that's in your comment section talking about me, them bitches can touch me. And, and I'ma keep it a buck. Bitch, I was a homeowner in my 20s. While you bitches was running around out the 60s and out of LA buying them Louis purses, hitting licks, bitch, I was buying property in my 20s. You bitches been jealous. So y'all thought it was funny because I got arrested in front of my kids. Bitch, my deals is still motherfucking close. It ain't nothing stop. That was just a small bump for me. And I see that shit whacking. That's what I'm saying. People press your buttons till you react. If you look at me, I don't go out my way talking shit to them people. I don't even care about them. I have a family. I have businesses. I'm an artist. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm in school to be an attorney. I have children. I have family. I have motivation and dedication and goals. I don't care about that. But if you look in your comment section, the same bum ass bitches talking when they see me, the energy ain't never the same. And I'm one to keep to myself. And I'm not gonna even call them bitches names out, but the same bum ass bitches talking, knowing y'all can't whoop my ass. All you bitches do is talk, cause you can never fuck with me since I was 14, bitch. I had all my own shit, own apartment, own everything, and don't need to rap to get me. It's nothing but jealousy up over there. Been jealous, stay jealous. That's why I never wanted my children over there. You got people that sit up there and feed their kids to the streets, feed their kids to the bullshit, feed their kids to destruction. Like, I hate them people. I hate them with a passion, and I keep saying that. I hate them people, and I hate that nigga. Yeah, either way it go, cold we come from, nigga ain't supposed to be doing none of that. I'm gonna put me in jail and you come fucking with me. It's crazy. Uh, watch this though. Let me show you something. Watch this, SKG. Meanwhile, and see this why it's been around long enough. We don't give a fuck about that. <clears throat> None of that cripple blood shit because right in front of her face, you got the motherfucker who's supposed to be what he's supposed to be, right? Doing what they doing, right? Now, PTR. But then you got the Paru doing this. Look at that! Look at that PTR. The crib locking her up. Mm-hmm. In the fire room doing that. Shit is wild. This shit is so wild. <laughs> That's your name, right? Huh? Look at my PTR. Okay, hold on. Yep. See who that is? Yeah. Bill Bosman, right? Yeah. That's your name? Yeah. Whatever station is by hotels by LAX. Okay. What I tell him to do? Go get me out of jail. What was she arrested right now? They just cuffed her. I text and finish, beat her there. No, that's why I love and appreciate you, Wagon. Everybody know that. Like, I'm not fake. Like, I know, I know the real. If if you wasn't there, you don't understand the mentality. See, people don't understand the mentality of you and a and the mentality of big you. He try to paint the picture okay. like like you be on bullshit and it's not that. That nigga really be on snake fuck bullshit. 
the nigga was snaking me behind my back back then, and I didn't know it. You was you was obligated to him at that time. He telling the people why y'all fucking with whack and all. And she, you know, I got my own relationship with the bill, do some whole other shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't doing what he doing in the bill. Didn't give a fuck. Wasn't my business. Keep this, keep this. They telling them, man, ain't no stopping that nigga. That nigga dealing directly with the top. Them niggas is tied in the live nation, some other shit. We ain't figured out what them niggas doing. I ain't never walk in the door behind that nigga, SKG. You know that? I ain't never step behind that nigga. Wack always was doing his shit. Oh God! Oh God! This nigga turn around and, and take his own. We don't want to press you, cause you want to spread the wealth around the greater LA and all to all the neighborhoods. He want it all. Like, bro, this why. Oh God! It's just so much I want to say and do, and I just can't. I just these motherfuckers, bro. I hate them people. I hate them dusty ass motherfuckers over there, bro. Like I hate them. And then you know, this time last year, I had to beat a bitch up from over there. Like they always extra. They always with the extras. They always fucking with people. That's why people don't like them. Like, and it took me to really grow up and become a woman to see the how they play the game and the shit they be doing and all the extras and shit like that. Like, I hate them. It ain't all right? of them. It ain't all of them, though. Uh, that's how good, I feel. Man. At this point, nah, you even for the niggas that know me since I was little, because you got you, you know, I have a generational yeah. family. I don't care. The niggas is, is, is grimy. They're grimy as fuck. And what I'm and telling you is, listen. Shit. You got a few good men who, who I don't know who, who they found, are who found their way out, and, 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 and it's a few good men. So, you know, you got the you got the S Max, you got the Big D's. You know, you got a few no. Good. I don't fuck with I don't fuck with S Max. No, but I'm I don't saying, fuck with, I don't fuck but what with I'm saying man. is, they out the way. They ain't doing what he doing. Them niggas, them niggas still report to him S Max. No, they don't. Big no, was they, doing to no me they don't. Because my brother was telling uh -huh, me that. My brother told S Max. S, S Max never helped me. S K G. S Max been out the way. S Max tapped me on my shoulder. No, he don't. S Mac been doing his own thing for many, many moons. The time I see Bass Mac, S Mac Dolo, one or two Woody, this nigga's at the fight. This nigga's, I look up. Only thing I give S Mac is S Mac paid for my brother's funeral. That's what I give. That's what I give Sean. You got to respect it. that. You got to respect I, I, I that. I do respect that. But when it's and he definitely don't take orders. He definitely don't take orders from no nigga. You know that. Let's keep it real. That boy was up on the Mac back in the days. Mac was never up on him, and Mac broke away and, and, and pretty much limited himself to everybody. So you can't put that on him. Big D, same way. Big D went and opened up his little fish spot, and he didn't even know Big U was the one stalling that. Every time he was trying to get in there, he was calling them people and, and, and getting them to fuck over his permits and all that shit. It took Big D probably extra three years to open up that fish park and all you you know why this shit frustrate me though, Wack? Cause I really like being from LA, right? Nigga, I really get bad that these niggas tried to stop me from getting. I really touch money that these niggas said I couldn't touch. I've really been in in circles in in doors that they said I couldn't get in. And on top of that, I don't bother none of these people. I, I don't go out my way to where they are to fuck with them. I don't need their connections. I work hard and get my own connections. I work hard and do my own thing. I don't be a yes man. I don't be a foot soldier. I don't care about none of that they got going on. But they still find a way to fuck with me because they never want nobody doing better than them. Show me females coming from LA. From LA. Let's female rappers coming from LA that has bags, that has deals. It's not, it's not. You can say the East Coast. You can say the South. Because them niggas support them girls. They never want you to have it out here. Never. Like it's just weird. It's weird, and then the niggas that run behind him be broke, don't have no motion, don't know how to be leaders. Like, it, I just see all this shit, and it makes me be an introvert and be like, okay, I'm going to be over here doing my thing. Even with me over here, these motherfuckers still fuck with me. That is the irritating shit. That's what irritates me.
shit is fucking crazy, bro. So SKG, let me ask you this question. I think you should be used to me now. I've been like 20 years. You gonna answer the question? Yeah. Did you take a good or bad mug shot? Which one? Did I do what? Take a good or bad mug shot. Which one? I smiled in my mug shot because I didn't was want your, to- Was your eyebrows, was your eyelashes done? Was your hair still straight? What's going on? Cause you just came in with your shit pent up with the little bag over. Did you take a good or bad mug shot? Which one? Is I, I took an okay one. It was okay? It okay. was okay. My side profile was kind of cute. Uh, you are, had you been face. crying? Did you have a little puffy eyes? Because you know you get the puffy eyes. I did. You did? Okay, okay. But uh, I smiled. You smiled. Okay, I was wondering what was going on. They tried to do some eye recognition. I declined that shit. Some what? Eye recognition. I'm like, y'all not doing that to me. No, oh, I'm not. Oh, they trying to get a database. Yeah, and I wouldn't let them. And the officer was like, you got to do it. I said, I'm not doing it. So they I already did the doing. facial recognition. During COVID, that's why they was running the mass shit. They were seeing if they should work. Yeah, he was like, "Karen to this brother, I'm not doing it." And he was like, "Okay, she denied it." I'm like, "What? Yeah, no." Uh, eye no. recognition. What the fuck is going on? I don't that know what that was, but they wasn't doing it on me. But I just wanted to jump on this clubhouse with you real quick. Like, just thank you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for having my back and was about to bail me out. And thank you for calming me down and talking to me. You really need to get like more flowers because you really do be helping people. You really, really do. And that's no cap. Okay, y'all, I'm about to get some rest because I ain't been asleep. I feel that. Okay. All right, bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, Queen. Bye. Yeah, that's fucked up. He trying to sabotage this lady career and shit like that. That sound like a messy person. Big dumpster and shit. And then I don't understand why they didn't understand how the fuck he get there. She doing her thing. Why did he? Why was he there? Obviously to antagonize her. So when you a police officer, you supposed to look at everything. That's so sick. The fact that she asked the washroom manager for the day going on press charges, and they was like, nah, we only doing it because he wanted done. That's crazy, man. That's really shit. That's some shallow shit. But shout out to Wack for holding it down and making sure that she was cool. You know what I'm saying? Belling her out and then going to use his lawyers to take care of anything that she needs because that's dope too. I don't know why he's trying to like get at her to get at Wack. It's so weird that they mention Wack name for what? That don't even make sense. What would Wack have to do?